on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the red duffel bag completely solo in gta 5 online so for this you are going to need the lost contract inside of your auto shop garage so inside your auto shop on this board right here make sure you have the lost contract mission if you don't got the lost contract mission and it's just random missions on here what you can do is just go ahead and start up any one of the random missions and then once it's done playing whatever she's saying just go ahead and go outside of your auto shop go ahead and open up your phone and call her up once you call her up it should give you an option to um, cancel the heist and once you come back inside your auto shop the job should be refreshed so i'm going to go ahead and place an example of that in now But once you guys have got the last contract on your board, what you're going to do is just go ahead and come up to the board and just start it up. Once you guys um, are inside of here, you're just going to go ahead and play the first mission. So lab locations, just go ahead and play that mission. And if that was your first time doing it, it's gonna give you like a little intro type thingy. It doesn't matter. Just go ahead and start up that lab missions when um, the um, intro is done playing. So once you guys get spawned outside, just go ahead and make your way over to wherever the game is gonna tell you to go to. And the locations might be different, but it doesn't matter. Just make your way over to whichever location the game is telling you. Once you guys get to the location, just go ahead and take out the enemies and be ready. There's going to be some more enemies inside of the um, nightclub, not nightclub, the um, MC warehouse, whatever we're inside of. So just be ready because there are going to be more enemies once you guys get inside of here. But if you guys get killed, it doesn't matter. You're just going to respawn you outside and then just come back inside and do the mission. So once you guys have killed all the enemies, come get the red duffel bag. Sometimes it might be over here, but right now the red duffel bag is right here. So just go ahead and come pick it up. Once you guys have picked it up, now you're going to go to the safe, which should be downstairs. So it normally should be in this little building right here. I guess it's been moved. So let's go check the other building. If it's not, hold up, I think it might be actually back here. Hold on, it might be this safe here, this safe right here. So it's usually gonna be in that other one that I went to at first, or this one. Once you guys open it up, just go ahead and take this little paper right here. I think you gotta hit right D-pad to take it. Yeah, just hit right D-pad to collect it. Once you guys have got that, just go ahead and make your way outside of the clubhouse. From here, you want to go ahead and get either a C or Buzzard, your Mark 1 or Mark 2 Oppressor, or any kind of helicopter. So I'm actually going to go get a helicopter. Actually, I think I'm just going to use my Mark 2, so I'm just going to kill these guys real quick. So you need either a Mark 1, Mark 2, or a CEO Buzzard, or any type of helicopters. If you guys don't have any helicopters, I'm going to show you where to get some helicopters from for free. 
So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get the helicopters for free if you don't have a Mark One, Mark Two, or if you don't have a buzzer. So let's go ahead and make your way over to the location that I'm going to right now. So for the people that don't have Mark Ones, Mark Twos, or oppressors, you want to come over to this location and usually it's going to be a free helicopter over here. So if you don't got a Mark One, Mark Two, or a buzzer, just grab one of these free helicopters. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right here that location. So just make your way over here and get yourself a helicopter and just make your way over to your auto shop. So once you guys are near your auto shop, what you want to do is just go ahead and get some height and you're going to parachute into the little yellow circle in front of your auto shop. So when you've got enough height on your Mark 1, Mark 2 or your um, helicopter, just go ahead and jump out of it and you're going to parachute in front of the yellow circle in front of your auto shop. And you got to make sure that you're really close to the yellow circle. If you're not close to the yellow circle, the glitch might not work. So just go ahead and parachute on the yellow circle in front of your auto shop. You can also use your bumpers to slow you down just like that. Just go ahead and just like that yellow circle. Once you guys are done with the mission, just go ahead and make your way over to any of the ammunition that's closest to you. So just go out of your auto shop and make your way over to any of the ammunition or gun store that's near, near you. So I'm going to go to this gun store right here since it's the closest to me right now. Once you guys are in the gun store, just go to the parachute bags and purchase the Israel parachute bag. So just come to the parachute bags and purchase the Israel parachute bag. So this one right here, just go ahead and purchase it. Once you purchase it, open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your parachute and make sure you can see it. From here, just go ahead and get back on your oppressor Mark 1, Mark 2 or any type of helicopter and just make your way over to the beach. And I already showed you guys where to get free helicopters if you don't own one. So just get either your Mark 1, Mark 2, or a helicopter and just make your way over to the beach. Once you guys are over here at the beach, you're just going to jump out your helicopter, your Mark 1, or your Mark 2. And you're just going to go ahead and parachute in front of the mask store. So just jump out your oppressor mark 1 or mark 2 and just parachute in front of the mask. So I'm just going to return my oppressor. Or actually, it's too late. My oppressor might get destroyed, but just go ahead and parachute in front of the mask door once you jump out your mark 1, mark 2, or your helicopter. And as soon as you guys get landed in front of the mask door, just go ahead and spam right D-pad and save your outfit. So just like that, as soon as you guys land, just spam right D-pad and save your outfit. Uh, we actually didn't get it to work, but if it didn't um, take you inside the store just like that, just go ahead and request your um, vehicle again and just repeat that same step. So I'm not sure why it didn't take us into the store. I think the um, option didn't load up, but just go ahead and do that the same step again. Just go ahead and parachute right in front of the max store. And once you parachute right in front of it, just go ahead and spam right D-pad and then save your outfit. So just jump off, press shoot in front of the mask door and just save your outfit. So as soon as you land, just spam right D-pad. And from here, just go ahead and save your outfit as whatever um, it was. Once you guys save your outfit, just go ahead and come out the um, store, open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go ahead and select the outfit, and as you can see, you have the um, duffel bag on your character. 
and this one you are going to be able to go inside your accessories and all that with a black duffel bag you can't really go inside your accessories but as you guys can see you got the duffel bag and also if you don't own the um mission i think your friend might be able to start it up for you but i haven't tried that yet so i can't really confirm it as you guys can see i've got the duffel bag i'm going to switch outfits switch outfits again i've still got the duffel bag so that's going to be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on it share it subscribe and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on future GTA 5 videos and glitches.